Hello my dear students today i will discuss about computer system the topic is computer hardware components part 1 the next slide is about computer system computer system consists of two components such as software and hardware what is software software is the intangible component of the computer system it is a set of instructions or programs which enable the users how to work with the computer example ms office next what is hardware hardware refers to the physical part of the computer system example hard disk the next slide contains block diagram of computer system computer system is divided in two parts hardware and software and again hardware is divided in two parts internal hardware and external hardware the next slide contains the difference between hardware and software hardware hardware is physical parts of computer that cause processing of data but software is set of instructions that tells a computer exactly what to do number 2 hardware cannot perform any task without software but software cannot execute it without hardware hardware can be seen and touched but software cannot be touched number 4 hardware is repaired in case of problem but software is debugged in case of problem the next slide is about hardware hardware consists of two parts number 1 external hardware it is also known as peripheral device examples keyboard mouse etc number 2 internal hardware internal hardware is mean that hardware components that are fixed inside the cpu box example cpu ram rom motherboard smps etc the next slide is about motherboard what is motherboard the main printed circuit board in short pcb found in the microcomputer is known as motherboard the motherboard is the backbone of the computer it connects the cpu to the input and the output devices of the computer it also connects hard drives cd dvd drives ram sticks usb ports a power supply etc the next slide is about cpu cpu stands for central processing unit what is cpu the central processing unit is also known as the heart and brain of the computer because it main function is to process the instructions it controls the working of the entire computer system it is placed on the motherboard inside the cpu box the cpu has three major parts number 1 control unit cu number 2 arithmetic logic unit in short alu number 3 main memory unit mmu the next slide contains block diagram of central processing 
unit in short cpu cpu consists of three parts control unit arithmetic logic unit and main memory unit the next slide is about control unit arithmetic logic unit and main memory unit what is control unit it gives command for data from the input device to the memory and from the memory to the arithmetic logic unit and transfers the results from the memory to the output unit it controls and coordinates the various operations which takes place in the computer number 2 arithmetic logic unit in short alu the alu performs all the arithmetic and logical instructions it consists of a number of registers these registers are of very small capacity and contain data instructions which are to be executed number 3 main memory unit in short mmu this memory is also termed as the primary memory it is only memory which is in contact with the cpu directly it is divided into two parts they are ram and rom the next slide is about main memory unit main memory unit consists of two parts number 1 ram number 2 rom ram it stands for random access memory it is also known as read write memory this is a short term memory and is volatile in nature this memory is automatically erased when the computer power is turned off number 2 rom it stands for read only memory and it stores the data permanently the information from rom is read only it is a long term memory and is non volatile in nature the memory here does not get erased even when the computer is turned off the next slide contains the difference between ram and rom ram is a temporary storage but rom is a permanent storage ram stores data in mbs rom stores data in gbs ram is volatile rom is non volatile in nature ram used in normal operations rom used in startup process of computer in ram writing data is faster but in rom writing data is slower students in this session i have discussed about computer system especially internal hardware devices hope all of you have understand this part of the chapter very well that's all for now thank you